हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand source transformation. In source transformation, we are converting one form of source into another form of source, which means a voltage source is transformed into a current source, and a current source is transformed into a voltage source. Let us consider a voltage source having internal resistance R S E connected with a load resistor R L. This voltage source can be replaced by a current source as shown in this figure. Since we know I is equal to V by R, that's why whenever we are transforming a voltage source into a current source, the internal resistance should be connected in parallel with the current source. In the same way, if we are transforming a current source into a voltage source, the resistor should be connected in series with a voltage source. from this figure we can write i is equal to v divided by r s h plus r l so here r l is the load resistance since the resistor is connected in shunt with the current source that's why we have represented it as r s h let us call this as equation number 1 load current i l can be given as i into r s h divided by r s h into r l let us call this as equation number 2 if we take i is equal to i l so we can write v divided by r s h plus r l is equal to i into r s h divided by r s h into r l if we equate the numerator we can write v is equal to i into r s h therefore we can say i will be equal to v divided by r s h since r s h is same as r s e we can write the same equation as i is equal to v divided by r s e so whenever we are replacing a voltage source with a current source we need to connect the resistor in parallel with the current source when we are replacing a current source with a voltage source the resistor should be connected in series so that is what it is shown in this figure now let us understand different transformed sources here in both the cases voltage source are converted into current source only difference is in the direction of current flow we know voltage source can be replaced with the current source by connecting the internal resistor in parallel here the direction of current will depend upon the polarities of voltages if we are having plus and minus here in the voltage source the direction will be towards upwards and if we are having minus and plus sign in the voltage source the direction of the current will be towards down side in the same way the current source can be replaced into voltage source by connecting the resistor in series again after conversion the polarities of the voltage source will be depending upon the direction of current flow if the current flow is towards upper side then the polarities across the voltage source will be positive and negative if the direction of the current is towards down side the polarities across the voltage source will be minus and plus so this is how we can perform the source transformation now let us see different combinations of source transformation If there are two voltage sources that are connected in series with the same polarities as you can see plus and minus sign plus and minus sign we can replace it with a single voltage source which is equal to v1 plus v2 and here the polarity of this voltage source will be plus and minus similar to these two voltages in the same way if we are having voltages that are connected in series with similar polarity we can replace it with a single voltage source with the same polarity this voltage source will be equal to v1 plus v2 if we are having two voltage source that are connected in series with opposite polarity as you can see here we are having plus and minus sign here and minus sign plus sign here this can be replaced with a single voltage source by taking v1 minus v2 if v1 value is greater than v2 we can write it as v1 minus v2 and the polarities will be similar to the voltage v1 
For the same case, if V2 value is greater than V1, then the single voltage source value will be equal to V2 minus V1. And the polarities across this voltage source will be same as voltage V2. If two voltage sources are in parallel, these two voltage sources will be equal. That's why we will replace it with a single voltage source that will be equal to V1 or it will be equal to V2 since voltages in parallel will be same. If two current sources are in series, at that case, these two current sources will be having the same value. That's why we can write it with a single current source, which will be equal to I1 or it will be equal to I2 since both the current values are same. If two current sources are in parallel, at that case, we need to replace these two current sources with a single current source I1 plus I2 with the same direction of current I1 and I2. So in this case also, since both the current sources are having the same direction, that's why we will replace it with a single current source which is equal to I1 plus I2 and the direction of this current source will be same as I1 and I2. In the next case, two current sources are connected in parallel and they are in opposite direction. At that case, if I1 is greater than I2, we will replace it with a single current source that is equal to I1 minus I2 and the direction of current source will be same as the current source I1. If I2 is greater than I1, at that case, we will replace it with a single current source which will be equal to I2 minus I1 and the direction of current source will be same as the current source I2. So these source transformations are very important in solving the network analysis problems. This is about source transformation. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.